So good for you and so worth it. Minor biker here, myself, and both dogs, and the Fazari LaSalle Peak set up with 27.5 plus tires. Dogs are really uh, antsy. As always, we are just to the west of Green River, Utah, just north of I 70, along the side of the center of El Swell, at the south end of the Miner's Run Trail. This is a trail I videoed about two years ago, and Definitely worth coming back to because this is a really cool area. It's a fun trail. My video has gotten a lot better since then. And there is some absolutely fascinating history. So the reason this is called Miner's Run is because this whole area right here along what's called the Four Corners Mine Road is completely full of uranium mining stuff because this whole area was really worked over during the uranium boom times from 40s 50s 60s there's even some stuff around here that's been worked even more recently than that so a lot of cool history and a fun scrappy old trail out here starting out we're just heading north from old parking spot along the four corners mine road we can also out and back the trail but i'm coming this way so i want to stop and show you guys some of the cool mining stuff up here in case you're wondering what the little contraption on the left side of my handlebars is, that is the beacon for this Guideo 2 drone, which is in my backpack right now. That's what it locks onto and follows. This is an old portal right here. Also used to be open. So they buried a lot of this stuff out here. Probably a good thing. These are some these little uranium mines are sketchy. Yeah, this thing used to be wide open. An old black hole heading down into the ground right there. Some old steel timbering and stuff. All buried up now. Kind of cool. You get on Google Earth and look out along this area, and you can see tons of the old, all the old uranium mines. You can see all the old big spots and old shafts. And Little addicts going in and stuff. You can see them all over the place out here on Google Earth. And interesting, uh, it's been about two years. Last time I videoed this, <laughs> two years ago was the last time I rode this trail. At least this stuff here closer to the road. They've come in and buried it all since then. Which, like I say, is not a bad thing. It's not. They were wide open. That's not the kind of thing you want people getting into. They build a new rebar fence around this hole right here. I bet that means this one's still open. Yeah, see. Hope you can see it on the camera. Got that at it down there going in. It's all barred off with the rebar. Hey, look! Found the bike garage. Oop. <laughs> and a nice old storage dugout here. I would guess probably just storing mining supplies, maybe explosives, things like that. Make a nice bike cave. Right here by this dugout is this big attic going in. 
actually bar it off so you can't can't actually go inside of it. Not that you'd really want to, it'd be stupid. We can at least get down here to the entrance and have a peek. Big old log timber there. You can see some the uh, steel plates that they bolted up to the ceiling to help with the roof support. The air coming out there is really warm and smells funny. Got some old cans there. And this stuff really isn't that old. I mean, you're probably only talking 50, 60 years old at the most on this stuff out here. Some of it's newer than that. I'll fill in, but that was a shaft. You can see this top of the ladder. That's probably the top of either a water or an airline. So that probably was a man way on that side at the ladder. And this side is probably probably a hoist the hoist ore out. You can see a platform right here. This would have been for where the hoist motor would have sat. October 1950 something. <laughs> yeah, your hoist motor would have sat right there up to a head frame over the top of that. Hoist ore in and out of the that left side. Anybody home? Couple old sack, old sack of concrete. <laughs> Such cool landscape. That drone makes you nervous, no hook. Not quite sure what to think about. Think about that thing. It falls or something. about four and a half miles north from where we parked. Right up here is where we turn off to connect to the north end of the Miner's Run Trail. There's a little two track right here on the left. <laughs> it ain't much, but this is it. This is the turn off. This trail is open to dirt bikes. There's there, it doesn't get used much by anybody, but mostly dirt bikes are the ones that do use it. All right, now it starts getting a little more interesting for as far as the actual riding goes. This is what probably easy three fourths of miners run is. rough chunky rock <sighs> up that rock White dots, dog. 
Oh, those plus tires definitely help out on that loose stuff. So you're looking back south from the northernmost tip of Miner's Run. So this is off down through what we just rode up through over here. And you got way off down that way, the Abajo Mountains down by Monticello. There's the LaSalle Mountains over by Moab. Green River itself is right over there. And you got the book cliffs looking up to the north so price is way up around that way and then just all this crazy rocky terrain here that the miners run trail runs through and up over the other side of that we can't see it from here we'll be able to see it when we get a little further down is the San Rafael reef and the east side of the San Rafael swell spectacular country Chunky climbing. That's a good. <laughs> Thank you. 
definitely have to pick and choose on a longer ride like this one to run the drone. There's not no battery capacity with it to run it the whole time like the GoPro. Hey, first good view. Looking over at the San Rafael Reef, the east side of the San Rafael Swell. That is pretty wild, rugged country. going. You've been here before, you haven't. Back up we go. Yeah, the name of the game on this trail, a lot of up and then down, up and down. No fly in between, up and down. How's the dog feet doing? Everybody doing good? Hike running on sandpaper? Really hard sandpaper? Uh, up again. And we're gonna go down again.
Another little doggy out right here. And the little guy. Check it out, doggies. <laughs> it's shady and cool in there. And there used to be three open mine tunnels right here too. They've all been buried as well, like those ones that we saw at the beginning. That guy right there used to be a big one. Went way down in deep. Big old tunnel, it was wide open. Decent little climb here. Not too bad though. Get that drone, bud. It's always a bit of a grind up that slant. <sighs> a whole bunch of little, just small little mines. And these cliffs in here. Oh, timbers there. Small little mine there had a whole 
gate on it. <laughs> I look doggies. I look doggies. Nice little hidey hole. What a view! So there's the San Rafael Reef. It's the east side of the San Rafael Swell. Right there's the San Rafael River and Black Dragon Wash and then I-70 where it comes through. See off down in the south, the Henry Mountains and the Abajo Mountains and the LaSalle Mountains just peeking around over there. Back this way, the way we come from. like this trail definitely not the kind of trail that everybody likes because it's just it's slow it kind of beats on you a little bit all that just up and short ups and downs and loose dirt but I never claim to be a normal type of rider so not surprising that I would like a trail that's probably not exactly going to be real fun for most of your typical mountain bikers. Yeah, I'm most definitely not really a typical mountain bike rider. Never claimed to be. I'm perfectly good at that.
actually right here right by where you park there's another big uranium mine right here nice big hole right there and this is the most recent one that was actually been worked off and on not too long ago Good job, doggies. <laughs> good job. That's a good dog, too. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that. So we'll ride out here on the Miner's Run Trail. Fun to do it, not only with the dogs and the bike, but also with a little Skydio there. It's definitely, I mean, it's it's time consuming. You have to stop every time you, you find a spot you want a drone and have to stop and launch it and go for a ways and stop and land it again, pack it back up and keep an eye on the battery and try and figure out, oh, what stretches do I want to get with the drone? What stretches don't I? What, how much battery do I have and everything, but it takes a little, little weight and some bulk in the pack, but I think it's worth having along, at least on some rides. I'm not going to bring it all the time just because sometimes it'll be nice to, <laughs> to have a break from it, just like I like to go on rides without the GoPro sometimes too, but it is super fun and really allows me to capture so much more of the context and kind of the spirit of the ride and the landscape and everything. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the Miner's Run. It's really cool out here with all the history and stuff. It's kind of kind of bummed out that they filled in a lot of the shafts and the adits out here that were really cool that were all wide open, but I can see why they do it. I mean, especially working in the mining industry, I can definitely see why they want to come out here and and bury those up especially the ones that are close to the road and stuff keep people out of them especially where they're not only old mines but they're old uranium mines so you got all kinds of radioactive stuff and radon and all kinds of nasty things down in there not to mention unstable ground and everything else so i can see why they do it even if it's kind of a bummer to come out here and visit and it's just not quite as cool but not everybody's as smart as me and stays out of them so I can see why they do it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Give a like, give a, give a comment for the awesome trail dogs. Make sure to check out Fazari Bicycles and Skydio Drone. And check out the other videos on the channel if you haven't already. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. It helps out a lot. And keep digging up new places to ride. Yeah.